Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Tricentis Tosca Automation Tutorial. So as you all know, I have already published around 11 YouTube videos on Tricentis Tosca latest version 16 covering different topics of test case automation. So this is our lesson 12 where I'm going to teach you about the action modes that are available in Tricentis Tosca 16. And also, I'm going to teach you setting up action modes like wait on, verify and select action modes by automating some of the test cases related to web shop. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so what is our agent item? So the action modes are to tell Tosca what to do with test step value to enter or to steer a particular control. So basically, we are setting up action modes to tell Tosca what to do with the test step values that we entered in a test step to steer a particular control. So if you remember in my previous videos, we already covered creation of test steps and then providing the test step values for the test steps, right? So what you have to do with those step step values that we are going to define in action modes. And you can select these action modes within test case section in the column action mode. I'm going to show you shortly how can we set up these action modes. And then there are different action modes like input, insert, buffer, constraint, select, verify and wait on. These are all the different action modes that are available in Tosca. So input is a default action mode that is provided by the Tosca. That means default transfer values to a test object. So in my previous sessions, right, to click on a particular control or to enter the text in an edit box, we used an action mode called input. So that's a default action mode that transfers values to test object. Okay. And then there are another, uh, there is another uh, action mode called insert. So insert is actually used for non UI related test cases. So I'm not going to cover this action mode. And then buffer and constraint. Yes, these we are going to use in Tricentis Tosca for the UI automation, but I'm going to teach you in the upcoming sessions. So for this session, we are going to focus on the action modes called select, verify and wait on. Okay. So now let's deep dive into select, verify and wait on. Okay. What is action mode select? So this is a passive action mode used to navigate tables and drop down menus and select table you want to focus on. So basically, when you are using an action mode called select, that is to use that is to select a table or select a drop down, but not to perform or but not to send any any values to the control. It is to just select a table or a drop down menu. Okay. And but if you want to input or retrieve some data, from particular table, then you need to use action mode called input, but not select. Okay, you understand, right? So let's say if you want to input, uh, there is an edit box or there is a uh, value within the table. If you want to retrieve or if you want to verify that particular value, you need to input, you need to use the action mode called input, but not the select. Select is used to just select the table and then perform some other operations within the table or retrieve some values within the table, right? But you will be selecting the table or you will be selecting corresponding column. 
and then you perform some other actions okay so that's select action mode and verify action mode this is used to check the values or the controls right for every test case we need to have a verification so first of all verify means what so when you are automating a test case you need to have some verification points right so to this we will be using this verify to check some values or to check the controls that are required okay and wait on so wait on is used to perform dynamic wait instead of static wait so when you use a static wait like 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds it's hard coded values right so we need to avoid using hard coded values you need to use a static wait that means let's say i want to wait until these elements are loaded on the page i want to wait until this message appears on the screen so then you need to use wait on okay this is very important wait on action mode to improve your test case automation okay so all these action modes are very very important to simplify your test cases while automating your scripts okay so now let's jump onto the system and see how can we use all these all these action modes by automating some test cases okay let's jump onto the system okay so this is my uh, Tosca 16 latest version, right? So as part of this session, our agenda item is first, let me cover select and verify action modes. How can we use these select and verify action modes while automating your test cases? So if you remember in my previous four sessions, we have completed, completed automating entire end-to-end -end test case right so let me copy the same folder here let me copy the same test case and then paste it into a parent folder okay so once you paste it let's rename this test case as session 12 action modes okay Okay, so right click. So when you click on this shopping cart, shopping carts, right click and expand all. I already explained you all these concepts. Okay, so here, so earlier when we automated the entire test case, one of the section we left blank. Which one? So the, under process, under process, there is a section called verification of prices. We haven't done that one. Okay, let me just minimize, minimize all of those. So we completed order product, we completed start checkout, we also completed checkout process and then confirmation page and verification of success and verification of prices. These two we haven't done, right? We have not verified anything. So in this session, let us verify the prices of your order if the price of the order is correct or not and also let us verify once you click on confirm the order the confirmation message okay so let's go back to our demo web shop let me log in <clears throat> okay let's go to appearance and shoes order the jeans go to shopping cart and here agree to the terms check out these are all we automated already and then continue we automated this as well continue continue and payment method continue and then payment information so here once you before you confirm the order you need to verify the price that is getting displayed for your order correct so let's take one thing. So let us validate if I select shipping ground, shipping method as ground, then the cost for shipping ground is $10. So I need to verify if $10 is getting added to my total cost. 
correct so for shipping ground whether it is displaying ten dollars or not that's what we are gonna validate okay for that verification of prices let's double click on this verification of prices here let me add a module control C I, I already explained you so it's very much recommended to visit my previous four videos where I have automated the entire test case end to end okay so here control T that brings up your modules and I want to add a module called webshop confirm order okay so what does this confirm order contain so let me just rename this as verify the prices okay i need not to rename this actually we already rename uh, named this folder verification of prices okay so here this we have captured all the controls that are required for this confirmation order all these controls we included this table and everything this button okay if you see all these fry prices right this is actually a inbuilt table web table this is a html table okay so this table can be steered by tosca if you see here cart total so this is one of the table right so cart total is one table this is this entire price is actually resides under a table okay so the same control has been added the entire table has been added okay and if you expand this right column if you see this is my first column that has all the titles of the prices and in the second column i got the cost of those subcategories right these are actually two columns first column second column okay the prices are under second column right so that's why go to column under cart total table you have a row and column and under column you need to specify this as a hash 2 that means i'm asking or i'm instructing task card to select column and click enter so as soon as you click enter if you see select as i told you select passive action mode used to navigate tables and drop down menus select table you want to focus on that means i want to focus on cart total table that's why the action mode is select here okay and then i want to select the column 2 so that I can retrieve some values or I can verify the values. Okay. So that's why column two has been selected. And then under column two, I want to verify shipping, shipping cost. So here, pick up your shipping cost here. If you see subtotal shipping payment, see subtotal shipping payment method, tax, total, right? Anything you want, you can verify. So I want to pick up shipping okay and if you see if you see the action mode you need to select as verify because I want to verify if the shipping cost is how much $10 or not and here you need to specify the value you need to specify the value 10 dot zero zero specify the value at 10 zero zero and i am instructing tasker to verify if shipping cost shipping cost of column 2 has a 10 dollar or not okay so now see if you i need not to run this entire i need not to run this entire test case i can simply run the section that i want to verify okay let me do that okay I want to show you how you really you can debug by using scratch book okay here I already opened the page of this if I run this only this step verification of the prices it's gonna verify this shipping cost right click run in scratch book because I need not to run everything again it I I'm just running that particular step to make sure 
whatever I automated is correct or not. If you see here, I got the results. If you see, this is successful. That means the shipping cost has been verified successfully. Correct? If you double click here, if you see, the expected value is 10 and the actual value of shipping cost also 10. That means this is success. So here we covered action mode select and verify. You understand what is the difference of select, right? Select is to steer the tables, but it is not to input the values. It is just to select the table so that I can input or I can verify the corresponding rows or column values. Okay. And let me also go one more thing. Verify verification of success. Here also, see once I click on confirm, I verified the values cost. Now I want to verify successful message. Right. And this is what I am doing here. Okay. Here, verify again. That means I need to select here. This message, message order successful message is visible or not. Right. Once I reach here, click on confirm. I need to see if this visible or not. Okay. For that, expand. What is the property? I want to see the property of visible property that control is visible or not and your operator is equal here true right and here i need to select action mode as verify i want to verify if this message is visible on the screen or not correct so now again let's run this only step let's run this step and see if it is gonna successful so it is verifying the message. Yes, it's got successful. I can see the green mark here. And if you see here, verification was success. See, verification was successful. Expected value is true. That is visible, true. And actual also true. That means the message is on screen. Okay. So this is how you can use verify and select action modes. Okay, it's really, really important when you are actually for any test case, right? For any test case, when you are automating, you have to verify something. Without verification, the test case is not meaningful. Okay. And what is next agenda? Next is wait on. So when do we use wait on? So I already explained you, it's a dynamic wait, basically. See, when you introduce a static wait, then it's going to take a lot of time. So basically, it's gonna uh, you're gonna waste the time, even though your control or your text is visible. It waits for the time that you specified when you specify the static weight. But for dynamic weight, it's really useful. If application is slow, it waits for the control to be visible. If the control is visible, immediately it goes to the next step, right? So for that, let's go to post condition under post condition what we are doing i'm clicking on continue here i'm clicking on continue once the order is completed and then i'm going to click on logout right so i'm clicking on logout let's see here i'm clicking on continue and then i'm clicking logout but before i close the browser i want to make sure that the logout is successful or not for that what you need to do once you click on logout, you should see login on top menu, right? Logout. See, login should be visible. So I am I'm gonna instruct Tasca to wait until the login link is visible. Once I click on logout, what I need to do for that? Let me introduce, let me control T. I want to insert one more step here. Top menu step. Okay web shop top menu because that login link available in top menu okay done and now just drag and drop step here and rename this as wait until login appear okay so what i am doing here as soon as i click on sorry not here so this step should be below this. 
as soon as I click on log out, you need to wait until login link appears. Log out and then wait until here. So here, login, I need to select login visible equal to true equal to true here I need to specify wait on that means you I'm instructing task to wait until this login link is visible right so now let's run this entire test case and see whatever we automated till now including price verification message verification successful message verification and wait until the application is logged out right everything so let's close this let's close this and right click and run in scratch book okay it's going to open the web shop click on login login appearance and shoe blue jeans it enters 10, add to cart, agree, check out, billing information, shipping and everything. And at the end, it's going to validate the shipping cost. Yes, it is validating shipping cost. Done. It is validating successful proceeding. Log out. Wait until login. Close. So that means, let's see, everything is passed because I can see green color here. So let's see here, see, everything is passed. It waited until login appears, right? Wait was successful. Expected is true, this is true, then only it went to close the browser, right? So, hope you all understand the concepts of action modes, how helpful these action modes are while automating your test cases okay so if you have any queries you can provide your comments in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you